These abandoned downtown L.A. high rises have become a magnet for taggers. For the second day in a row, police have made arrests, but the taggers just keep coming. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes has more. Is it art or is it a blight? One thing for certain is downtown's L.A. graffiti high rise is drawing global attention. Tonight, we're coming to you live from the city of Los Angeles. The Tag Towers, an opening backdrop for Trevor Noah as he hosted the Grammy Awards. I have never seen a, uh, that much graffiti on a commercial building. Jack Winhouse is a reporter for the commercial real estate news organization CoStar, which has been tracking the troubled Oceanwide Plaza building since construction stopped nearly four years ago. His office is directly across from the vandalized high rise. Mid to late December, we noticed a little bit of graffiti on the building. We thought that was really odd. The graffiti has grown to uh, the, almost the bottom of the building all the way to the top. Now, graffiti is not a rare occurrence in L.A., but what makes this case special is its canvas is a 27-story building in the heart of downtown. And video like this has definitely grabbed the attention of City Hall. Someone's going to scale that place and they're going to fall to their death. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon's district includes the graffiti-laden high-rise. He says the council will hear a motion ordering the owners of the three-tower complex to secure the site and remove the tagging. That will send a very clear message at Oceanwide Development. You have two weeks. You have two weeks to clean up all the graffiti on every single floor. And if they don't? If they don't, then we, the city, will intervene and will act for them. But we'll also give them a bill. As for the taggers who left their mark on the tower, LAPD busted four of them Tuesday. And even that didn't dissuade other taggers, some of whom LAPD Chief Michael Moore says are now coming from around the world to leave their mark here. We had dozens of individuals arrive last night and attempt to scale, and some did, the fence while we made additional arrests. But while their work may be elevated, their common sense, not too much. Several of the taggers were arrested in broad daylight. Some folks, though, holding this graffiti in high regard. Shout out to all the taggers that got that's involved in this. Y'all did it for the culture. Y'all did it for the work. And I appreciate that. In downtown L.A., Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.